I get asked quite a few times, and not just by the public, but by medics as well, what's the difference between PrEP and PEP? Okay, so PrEP is pre-exposure prophylaxis and PEP is post-exposure prophylaxis. Okay, so it all depends on when the event is. So if you've been exposed to HIV, for example, uh, through sex and you didn't have any condoms and the person you had sex with is in a, a high risk population of HIV, then you take post-exposure prophylaxis. It's a 28 day course. In the United Kingdom, it is one tablet of a drug called Travada and two tablets of a drug called Rartegravir. Take those three tablets every day for 28 days. If, however, you know you could be having sex with someone in the future, then you take pre-exposure prophylaxis, okay? And that's what PrEP is. And for pre-exposure prophylaxis, if you're taking it, some people take it continuously, and that's one tablet a day, but some people take it event based. That's two tablets, two to 24 hours before you're uh, due to have that exposure, in other words, sex, and then one tablet per day until you're two days clear. In America, it's called the 2 1 1 method. Um, either way, it's called event, uh, event based pre exposure prophylaxis. Another question I'm asked is why do you have 28 tablets when uh, with um, pre exposure prophylaxis you only effectively can take four tablets or only have to take four tablets, two before and one a day, two days after? Uh, it's also a question of where um, about is your virus and where is uh, the drugs? So on if you think about it, is uh, imagine you have a bank, and in that bank you have some very uh, valuable material. Um, if the bank gets raided by some robbers, uh, then it takes quite a long time for the police to arrive at the bank, take all the evidence, and try and track down the criminals. And that's exactly how uh, post-exposure prophylaxis works. Works. So you've had the event, uh, then you've got to take the Travada and the Rartegravir. <clears throat> that then goes to the area in question and tries to track down HIV in order to get rid of it or prevent it from getting into your body. It takes time, there's a time lag, and that's why you need a 28 day course. With pre exposure prophylaxis, it's like the robbers coming to uh, rob the bank, but there's armed guards already there with shotguns, with machine guns to bring them down as soon as they get near the door. Uh, and that is why. Uh, so it's a very, very quick, short uh, episode. And that is why with pre-exposure prophylaxis, you only need two tablets, uh, two to 24 hours before you have sex, ideally 24, and then one tablet a day until you're clear from your last sexual episode. Um, and that is effectively the difference between uh, PEP and PrEP. Any comments, ask, or any questions, ask me below. Take care, goodbye.